rice is a familiar staple in many Louisiana dishes. It's also a common sight in landscapes across the state. Making sure these fields remain healthy and productive is a group of scientists with a goal to ensure sheath blight disease does not become a widespread problem. Sheath blight's the most important disease of rice in the southern United States. Year in, year out, it's in every field that we grow. It can be the difference between a profit and a loss to a farmer. Members of the sheath blight resistance development team are rice breeder Steve Linscombe, geneticist and agronomist Jim Ord, and plant pathologists Yang Ham and Don Groth. The group works well together and has enjoyed success in reducing disease outbreaks. Well, it, it's a good combination. You know, we have from the right, the person that releases the varieties to the people that do the basic genetic uh, work on the disease and also does a lot of long-term breeding aspects you know, that the breeder would never be able to do. One of the biggest defenses against sheath blight is developing a variety that has resistance to the disease. This task can only be tackled with a multidiscipline approach. There's no immunity to sheath blight, so we have to incorporate multiple sources of resistance. It's a long-term project. Uh, you know, just one person can't do all of the aspects that you need to do. Another technique for combating sheath blight involves examining the cultural practices used to grow rice. The task is complicated because methods used to reduce disease development can cause a reduction in yield. Some of the cultural management is reducing stand density and cutting back the amount of nitrogen that the farmer uses. Those are the two major factors that increase sheath blight. The problem with those is a lot of times if you cut back the stand too much or the amount of nitrogen, you lose yield, so they're kind of counterproductive. The sheath blight resistance team, through its efforts, has greatly enhanced the state's rice industry, an industry that contributed nearly $650 million to the state's economy last year. You not only see their contributions on rice farmers' balance sheets, but by simply driving past the nearly 450,000 acres of rice fields located throughout Louisiana. When I first started, uh, you could go out and look at any field and see these big uh, patches of sheath blight developing in the fields. You know, and you knew that was causing a lot of damage. Nowadays, you go out, drive around, and you hardly see these patches of sheath blight. So we have made an impact.